Yo guys, how's it going everybody? T.Tech back. How's quarantine treating you guys? Uh, so today we're back with a different type of video. We're going to be doing a review of the mid-range LG Velvet 5G. Um, this is a pretty cool phone, uh, especially considering its price target. So we're just going to be looking through its battery performance, um, camera, you already, you already know what we're going to go through. Um, so yeah, make sure you tune in uh, and let us know what other type of videos you guys want to see. And just before we do that, make sure to subscribe and like our video and comment um, what you liked or what you want to see next. And then also don't forget to follow us on Instagram where we're going to be doing giveaways for lots of phones and lots of uh, different items. So yeah. All right, just before we move on, can we just take some time to appreciate the colors on this phone? Like it's majestic, bro. Like look at this like golden Aurora type of bloodish, I don't know, jelly, jello or something. Like it's just really, really nice. All right, so now let's start off with the cameras, uh, with the rear cameras. Um, for the specs, we're talking about a 48 megapixel uh, f1.8 main camera, then an 8 megapixel wide with a 120 degree field of view, and then a 5 megapixel depth sensor, depth camera, sorry. For the front camera, we actually have a 16 megapixel um, f1.9 camera, uh, and we're gonna show you guys some sample shots that we took from both of these, all these um, lens, and let you guys decide on what's better. Starting off with a portrait, we got uh, one of my friends, he's just standing by a fall using portrait mode. It looks pretty good, the edge detection is good, they can, you can tell the foreground and the background. Um, and overall, I, I really really like this photo. More of an HDR shot, we see that there is a bright sunlight and then there is the uh, waterfall as well. The sunlight's a bit broke, uh, sorry, blown out, but that makes sense because like you're, I'm literally taking a photo in the face of the, in the, in the, face of the sun. Um, and so it, that's a bit blown up, but then you get more detail in the hills. Um, and it's, it looks really, really sharp. Now here we've got some food. These are some lamb chops. Really, really vibrant colors, warm, warm colors. Um, and you can see that this is taking a normal photo, but you can also see like a depth to the back. Here's an ultra wide photo of the CN Tower when we were gone jet skiing. Um, it's hard to, to tell, but um, the, she the trees are kind of uh, shaded black, um, more, mostly because of the exposure uh, and the, uh, the the HDR focus on the on the lens. But this is an ultra wide lens. And lastly, we've got the selfie camera. You can see the selfie camera is okay, I guess. Um, like you see, like on top of my head, like the ocean's like blown out. Like we're like you can't tell anything what's going on in the background. Um, you just see my friend's face is also kind of blown up by the sun, and then there's me. Uh, basically saved by the shadow <laughs> or something otherwise my face would be pretty blown out too so the selfie camera is okay I guess I would say all right moving on to battery life battery life is outstanding on this phone bro like listen so I use this phone for like LG I mean for TikTok and like snapchat and Instagram like I use it super super heavily and it was lasting me a good six plus hours screen on time so the battery is 4300 milliamps and that's amazing especially like comparing that to the s10 and s20 it's very comparable it's also got support for fast charging as well um 25 watts so that's a huge plus as well and on top of that it has like these um extended modes and a maximum mode which will basically make it like a simple phone um in the sense like there's nothing extra no vibration no next level performance or anything and that'll like extend your battery like crazy but crazy but i doubt you're ever gonna have to use that because like the normal battery is just so good on the phone i had no complaints about that battery really it also supports uh, wireless charging so you can just place it down and let it charge wirelessly so that's a pretty good bonus to have especially in 2020. okay now we know this is a budget phone right so it's got to cut some sort of corner somewhere um, and for me, I think it's um, besides the selfie camera, obviously, that we saw earlier, uh, the performance is good when it comes to keeping apps open in the background because it's got like six or eight gigabytes of RAM depending on your region. Um, and that's pretty healthy. Like you can keep a ton of apps open in the background, but I guess there's a slight delay in opening new apps. Um, but like over the time, it, 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 it kind of grows on you. And once you have them open, especially with Android, you can keep them open in the RAM and it shouldn't be a problem to you. Um, so otherwise the, the, the performance is, is, not, is not necessarily like bad or lagging or anything. It's just a bit slower on opening new apps for the first time. Um, and on that note, 
the speakers are so quiet, bro. Like you can barely hear what the speakers are doing. Like I tried to put stuff on like max volume and it was just not it, you know? Is it halftime? To these waist suits? Brian, I'm showing you right now, broski. If I hear you scream and one, one more time without actually getting fouled, you're off the team, fam. And Nathan, fam, what are you doing all this extra foolishness for, fam? Who are you flexing for? The stands are more empty than your DMs, broski. I'm showing you guys from now, you better win this game. Because if I have to go back to the mandem and show them that we got cooked by these bozos, watch what happens at practice. Um, so you definitely want to have like some kind of pair of Bluetooth or um, wired headphones handy on you. And speaking of that, it actually has a headphone jack as well. So that's a huge plus in 2020 if you've still got those type of headphones. Now moving on to other side features um, that are quickly to just talk about. Um, first of all, the display. The display is enormous. Like, the, look at my hand. Look at the size of my hand and compared to that thing. It's huge, all right? 6.8 inches, full HD, um, 60 hertz display. Nothing really to complain about. It's AMOLED as well. Um, and it's got an in-screen fingerprint sensor, which I believe is um, it's, it's, it's quick enough, you know? It's not the fastest in the industry, um, but it definitely um, doesn't come in the way of, of what you're doing. Um, besides that, it's also IP68, so you can like dunk it in water. Like it's, it'll be totally cool with that as well. Um, and that's that's something that's uh, pretty good with a $700 phone around. It's it's a definitely a good um, bargain to have. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention is that this is 5G compatible, and for $700, like this is totally worth it, bro. Like, listen, like two, three years down the road, like when 5G is such more, much more like um apparent you're definitely going to want to have 5g on hand even if you're not going to use it it's a great to add value when you resell the product you know so yeah overall um performance is is, is fine it's, it's nothing to complain about this the display is extraordinary battery is outstanding like you will never run out of battery on this thing especially the battery charging features that it has um and then what else oh yeah the speakers are kind of quiet um it's but it's waterproof speakers as well so that's something to note as well and that color bro like the color alone is like probably a nice like addition to the fact that it's only 700 bucks or so you know so it's definitely um i would say it's the best mid-range budget phone there is out there period it's just that good but um but yeah if you guys have any more questions definitely let us know all right, so that brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys really enjoyed this type of review. Um, and if you guys have any questions about the device or anything else in general, feel free to leave it down in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So until then, make sure you're subscribed and like for our next videos. Follow us on Instagram and we'll catch you guys later. Take it easy.